Hello friend, I'm so excited that you're here. Congratulations on taking the first step towards your future. I remember when I was first getting into creating my own passive stream of income and I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? And then I realized I needed a coach. So you are in the right place right now with someone who has built a passive stream of income for herself, an entire empire, and able to have a time, money, freedom lifestyle where I can be with my family, raise my son and work 15 hours a week. And I'm serious, literally 15 hours or less a week because this passive stream of income that I've built runs itself. Of course, everything needs a bit of maintenance, but today in this program, I'm gonna show you across the next 10 modules how you can build a passive stream of income, your niche area, any FAQs you have on your mind, branding and everything in between. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Make sure you've got a pen and paper. Get yourself a cup of tea. I am drinking a rose tea right now and this gets me into a feeling of an open mind. Make sure you've got no distractions. We won't be doing meditation in this one. So if you know me from my scripting, then you'll know we usually do meditations. This is hardcore. It is intense time to learn and grow. I know you're ready because you're here. So make sure you're set up and let's dive in. Identifying your niche. So today we're going to look first at what your course could be about. A passive stream of income is based on you creating something that you can sell whilst you sleep, which means you want to find something that other people would buy. Now, some people will be like, oh, I don't know what to do. And some people got too many ideas. I am going to show you today an array of different ways to find the best course that you can sell. It doesn't matter whether you are a mumpreneur. It doesn't matter whether you're in corporate America. It doesn't matter whether you don't even have a job right now. Anybody and their mom can make a course and sell it. It's just about understanding what it should be in and how to make something that will sell and then the marketing. So right now, let's dive into the problem you are solving. First thing to ask yourself and write this down. What problem am I solving? Think for a moment how many people are wanting to leave their corporate jobs to do something that they love, but they just don't have the confidence. They don't have the balls. They don't know what they can do. You could help them to leave it by creating a course for them. You're also doing the same thing for yourself. So what problem are you solving in the world? There will be so many topics and so many things that you could possibly film on, but what is something you're solving for other people? When you think of a billionaire or you think of billion dollar companies, they solved a problem in the world. Amazon solved a problem in the world. Apple solved a problem in the world. Phones and devices and a place to sell things. Think about it. You have to think of a way that you can solve problems for other people in the world. What does that look like? So for me, it's, I want to help people to make money. So I reverse engineer it. The problem I'm solving is helping someone get out of their current situation and make more money, make money on the side. I'm helping somebody to get out of a job they don't like. I'm helping somebody to create a passive stream of income. I'm solving multiple problems in one go. Therefore, my course became about this, how to build a passive stream of income as an influencer in your field. And here you are now. So what is the problem that you are solving in the world? What's the problem you're solving for other people? Let's say that you are a coach. Okay, what can you build a course on that helps solve a problem for other people? Maybe you help them find happiness, but you have to go a little bit deeper than that because so many people are coaches these days. You have to think of a way that you can solve a problem for other coaches or other people who need it. So let's say, go back to the coach idea, because many of you probably are watching this and you are a coach of some description. So if you are a coach today and you want to solve a problem for somebody else, think about the thing that you love to do the most or that you know you're brilliant at. Let's say you're brilliant at marketing, then build a program on marketing. Your course will be on branding and marketing, right? 
and then you have to think of a really catchy title. Whenever you're doing titles for your course, think of it like a publication and on the front page of that publication is going to be the catchiest three sentence, three word, five word sentence that is right in your face that just tells you what you're going to be reading about, right? So like, you know, this person gets amplified in business. I don't know, something out there. It has to be really catchy. So how to amplify your brand title or how to accelerate your authority, which you're gonna learn about here today. Titles like that. We're not looking at how to grow yourself online and become a top leading expert. It, you've already lost me, sweetie. You need to keep it small and catchy and in your face and just boom, that's the title of your course. Here are some examples of titles that you could write for your course. Here's some examples of niche areas, potential courses. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you're watching it or if you're watching it or if you're watching it. It doesn't matter if multiple people use the same course title or use the same course idea because you're all reaching a different audience, which we're gonna learn about today. Can you imagine a life where you effortlessly magnetize your dreams to you, financial success, the love of your life, the family of your dreams, and everything you've ever dreamed of at your fingertips. With my approach to manifesting, I have a practical method where you use the power of your creative words. It's called scripting. We write in the past tense in a certain way to attract all our desires to us. I've done this. I met my husband in three weeks doing this. I help myself heal twice. I help myself get rid of a rash on my body. I have helped myself to elevate myself and get myself out there to so many people. I've changed my bank account number. I've added two zeros onto it. I have created abundance like I could never dream of. The most beautiful homes around the world. And you can do this too, like so many of my clients are currently doing right now. The success stories speak for themselves. I wanna show you how to do it. This is for somebody who is ready though. Don't even bother coming unless you are ready to transform your life. If you feel like, oh, I'm on the fence, I don't know, none of this shit really works, then baby, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for you. This works for somebody who says, I'm ready. I'm ready to try something else. Try using the power of my words. I wanna learn in a curriculum. I wanna be in a group with other like-minded individuals and I wanna win. This is for entrepreneurs who are ready to go to the next level or maybe get out of corporate America and go to the entrepreneurship world. If you're ready, come and join us inside the Scripting Society and I'll see you there. So think now in your niche, the problem that you can solve for other people and if you're still stuck at that point, think about an area that you love to talk about or that you're very good at. So are you a hairstylist? Brilliant, let's do a 15 minute hairstyle for every day. Or let's say you are somebody who has a service online. Perhaps you create content for other people. This could be how to create go viral reels on multiple platforms. Do you understand? You're trying to create something that other people need. If you go too niche and you go into an area like, let's say creating content is your thing, but you wanna talk about how to do an Instagram story at midnight using an iPhone 5, right? You've knocked out half the population because no one's on an iPhone 5 anymore. My son is on an iPhone 6, but that's different. He's seven years old and no one's giving your seven-year-old a 15 uh, or whatever the latest device is. And so um, anyway, niching, you don't go that far down the rabbit hole. You will knock out so many people posting a story at midnight. Like who does that? You're looking at things which the masses want. You're looking at something that multiple people would like, loads of people are interested in. That's why the course ideas that I gave you a moment ago are crucial for you to look at because you can see things that are super popular right now and things that you could use potentially and put it in your own words. So you want to choose a profitable niche that's in your area of expertise 
and that's in high demand. So something that can be monetized, right? So something you're really good at. What do you love to talk about? What do you love to do? If you're a mommy at home right now and you don't have a career because you've been an amazing mom for all these years, but you now really want to use your purpose and you want to find that and you want to get out there in the world and create a course. Well, first of all, honey, you need my coaching because that is what I do. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a coach and I boost it into your soul and give you the motivation that you need. But secondly, you're already in the right place because now you're going to learn how to build yourself an online course. You want to create a course which you can speak freely on. Like I can literally talk on this subject for five days. Okay, I need a few little breaks here and there, but I really love this topic. This is something I've done myself, so I'm a results-based example, and I've helped multiple people do this. In fact, at this point, thousands of people. I've also coached one-to-one leading experts, thought leaders, A-list stars in creating their own courses and making millions of dollars now a year. And you could be next. The fact you're here tells me that you're ready to do this. So choose something that you love to talk about and something that you can also upsell at a later point. It could go into another variation. What are you good at? So you're someone at home, you don't have a career right now. Well, what did you used to do? Is fashion something you love? Is helping people something you love? What do your friends say you're good at? Are they like, you're so good at hosting. You're so good at arranging. You're so good at organizing. You're like my agony aunt. Right, which one of those things resonated with you? For example, now create a course about that. So how to dress your home up for every occasion. Now that's very niche, so you might wanna go a little bit broader so you don't just shut out everyone with that, but how to dress your home up and tap into, and then, you know, whatever it is. I would buy something if I was gonna learn a skill, a new skill. You want something that other people are gonna just go, yes, I need that, yes, I want that, not, eh, that's so random. You don't want anything too random. So when it comes to actually making your course, the most important thing is the topic. But right beneath that, how long should my course be? How many modules? Should it be a video course? Yes, yes, and yes. You want it to be a video course. You can do multiple modules like we're doing here in a shorter time. So people's attention spans are on, then they're on the next topic, and then they're on the next topic, and then they're on the next topic. Or you could do three longer ones, say three half hour chunks. I personally prefer the short chapter version, like with my book. That's the trend these days is to do shorter chapters, shorter modules, but more of them. That's because we live in a world where people's attention spans are literally for about five seconds, and that's not a joke. On Instagram or TikTok, any social media platform, you have their attention for about three seconds. So you have to capture their attention instantly. So your online course, the title is everything. And then once they are sitting with you, you wanna work out how many modules you need, how many different titles you have, what do you want to talk about? So let's say you're doing, and we'll use mine for example, how to build a passive stream of income online. The first thing I wanted to do was get out all the pointers underneath it that I know go into building that passive stream of income that other coaches don't talk about. Like the marketing and branding, the fact that you don't need a massive social media, the things you do need, the ideas to getting to the point of creating the online course, things like this, how long the course is, all the intricate details and everything in between. So I knew I needed around 10 modules. Then I decided I was going to do them around 10 minutes each. So you'll be here watching 10 minutes for 10 modules approximately. That is how you decide what you want to do. Again, there's no wrong or right way. Somebody will do 30 minutes times three and just have three modules, like the three secrets to success. Brilliant. Great course. Always do a course that resonates with loads of people and don't overkill and just ramble. The worst thing you can do is when you're filming your course is ramble on. People will get bored and tap out. And I, on that note, I'm ready to show you the next module. I'll see you there.